Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for Hard West. Just came out on Steam, and uh, it, it's a turn-based combat kind of similar in some ways, I guess, what it looks like to XCOM type stuff. Or it makes me, you know, think of uh, Shadowrun or you know stuff like that. Uh, it looks really cool, and you and I are going to experience it together for the first time. Well, it's my first time. I don't know. How many times you checked it out, but anyway, so let's go ahead and start this game. Your journey on the Oregon Trail is halted by the harsh realities of the West. Uh, we're gonna go with medium, yeah, because do you like choose that up here or something? Because yeah, I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> so let's do it. Optional modes: combat injuries. Your characters gain debuffs when damaged badly, but over time they grow stronger for the experience. Hmm. I mean, that sounds kind of interesting, actually, and I... Actually, I kind of want to do that. That's probably a stupid mistake, but whatever. When a critical character is killed, you'll have... Oh, no, we ain't doing that shit. <laughs> Alright, a challenge but fair, a smaller challenge, but a challenge nonetheless. A challenge but fair. Well, let's just do it. Obviously, I have very little faith in my the old ability. The West was a hard place. The only thing in abundance was poverty and firearms. Yeah, buddy. Combine alcohol and hopelessness with greed, envy, lust, and pride, and death is often the result. Crude cabins stood alone in the wilderness, cut off from the outside world. People knew to mind their own business, but isolated, they grew ignorant and superstitious. Some said the devil walked the earth. Said lost souls haunted and possessed the living, pushing them past the edge of sanity. Yeah, they got my cousin. I'll tell you that. In this harsh and dangerous country, no one had it My easy. cousin started howling at the damn moon. Including tell you what. Family. You were six years old when you traveled the Oregon Trail with your mother and father. Food was scarce. And your father, I know, I played the Oregon Trail back in like, shot, like failed to find fourth it grade, dog. It was as if every animal on the trail was spooked by some evil force. Your old man found a small village and tried to trade equipment for food. But this village was overrun by outlaws. Well, shit. They took your mother. Oh, come on. And decided to trade you and your father to white slavers. But he managed to break free, told you to hide, and set out to save her. Yeah, that was my pappy. Alright, they took mother away. Could father still save her? Does that mean that I am my father in this scenario or something? Do you want to play the tutorial? We promise it's short. Yeah, let's do this. I like that. I like that. So, Hard West turn-based. In this mission, your father must rescue your mother, who's been kidnapped by evil men. You can only move within the range indicated, so, okay. And they want me to move here, I guess. Uh, Right-click. There we go. Cover is indicated by shield icons. Always stay in cover. There is half cover and full cover. Full cover provides the best protection. You've detected an enemy. All characters marked as red shield icons are enemies. And he's not in cover. So we're going to go to shoot. Uh, chance to hit is based on your character's aim ability. Chance to hit is 70%. Oh! Most actions require action points. Each character starts combat with 2 AP. Shooting typically uses up all remaining APs. So when all your characters are out of AP, the enemy turn starts. So you probably want to move, then shoot, usually, I guess. Alright. Each character has a certain amount of luck. High luck protects from enemy shots, but when they miss, luck is depleted. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. When enemies are uncovered, bypass their protection by flanking. Right. Let's see. Right click to go over here. Got me some half cover. So that was my move, now my shot. Obviously want to hit that dude. I mean I don't know how to target. Like is he already I guess he's already targeted. 
Uh. Cool. Alright, remember to reload often. Many weapons reload uh, only a couple rounds at a time. Reload the active weapon with two rounds. Why only two? Was that based on my AP or something? In broad daylight, you can locate enemies by their shadows. Oh, that's cool. You can even shoot them if you have an unobstructed line of fire. Some materials like cloth foliage can be shot through. Interesting. When you have line of fire but no line of sight, your chance to hit is reduced, clearly. Um, where the hell am I? I'm over here. And there's a dude over here on the other side of like a tent. So I want to shoot. Oh, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Damn. You ran out of luck and are bound to be shot. You must take better cover. Why is that better? You can use objects in the environment to create more effective cover. Uh, what the hell does that mean right there? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh! Cool. Ah, oh, shit, man. Red bar shows your hit points. When hit, your luck is partially replenished. I gotcha. Alright, you have several abilities. Some abilities require luck. Fanning. Fire three shots with negative 20% aim penalty. Chance to hit 29, but we're firing three times. Okay. Okay, nice. That's it for the tutorial. You're on your own now. Okay. So, alright, so we can switch. Yeah, we can do that with Q and E and then W, A, S, D. Alright. So we have to rescue her. Hopefully there's no... Nobody... I guess I'll move here first in case there is someone standing there that I don't see. Doesn't appear to be. She was nowhere to be found. He saw the box. What was in it? The simple wooden box contained a head. Your mother's head. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Afterwards, your father found one of the gunmen still alive. The oh, he did, did man he? rambled on about some unholy obligation, about promises made by the devil himself, and the rewards they would find in hell. Ah. Uh. A Faustian bargain. Alright, so let's you go on. Your father were alive, but all your supplies were destroyed. No way you'd make it to Oregon now. Your father decided to stay put and build a life right there. Okay. Many years passed, and you grew up. You became a man. Became a man's man, man. Alright, so the two of you took over the ruined railroad company buildings, tried your hands at farming. Soil was dry, land was dangerous. Ten years, now you're grown. Now you should try for the Oregon Trail. It's what your mother would have wanted. Gold, who would have thought they'd find it here and just when you needed cash? Time to strike it rich and get out of town before the outlaws and madmen showed up. They always do. Location has become available. Ugly ditch. The masked man controlled all the gold mining. His henchmen sold you a license that let you run nine prospecting operations. Okay, so, we got neighbor's house, uh, we got here, what is that, a meadow, and I'm assuming this is where we are, where the skull is, though I do not know. What do we got here? Placer gold tools, deeper gold tools, hard rock gold tools, no idea what any of that means. Uh, okay, so, ugly ditch. Let's see what that is. Whoops. Everyone said there was placer gold down in the ditch, but most of it was buried deep under hard rock. You rinse placer gold, costing you 15 bucks. How much money do I... I guess, is that this? $35? I guess. Um... Interesting. Okay, so what happens here? You collected placer gold deposits. Prospecting cost 15, gaining you 31, income totaled 16 bucks. Not bad. Alright. Everyone said there was placer gold down in the ditch, but most of it was buried deep under heart. Yeah, we already did that. Uh, excavating the deeper gold now, now that we have the money. Okay. 
We collected the deeper gold. We only made a profit of two dollars, so that was kind of rough. All right, I wouldn't want to do that anyway. We still came out ahead, so I don't care. So, it's, but it says mine gold until your license runs out. What about unconventional extraction? Oh, that sucks. No, the <laughs> don't take my money. All right, so let's go to the neighbor's house. You paid them a visit, and they turned out to be kind people. That's cool. More importantly, you met Florence, their beautiful, kind-hearted daughter. All you exchanged were a few glances, but you found yourself smitten. Ooh, well. Locations become available. Some new stuff. Cool. All right, so not interested in prospecting themselves, the neighbors tipped you off about a couple of promising spots. That's what I like to hear. When you first laid eyes on Florence, she was oh. all you could think about. It wasn't just desire that she inspired in you. It was the way she saw the best in you. The way she made you feel. Well, that's good to know. Alright, so let's go to Forge Shaft. Alright. Okay, so what do we do? Let's try the placer gold. Yeah, 16 bucks. Um, I just don't... I mean, is that going to even make any sense? Probably going to tell me the same thing as last time. Ah. What if I get... I, I'm probably going to get owned on this. I can't do it. I can't do it. Let's go here. The mine looked like its hard rock depths were still untouched. Still untouched. So that these... Okay, wait a minute. I don't have the money to do the hard rock. Okay, I think I'm s maybe starting to understand this a little better. So maybe this one will be okay. Yeah, so we made 42 bucks. Okay. So in other words, this message said that basically hard rock has been explored, so you want to check the other two, but you never know what you're going to get. Now, I guess the fact that it's been thoroughly explored means I should not waste my money on that. Anyway, back to the damp mine. Hard rock dip still in touch. Now we can afford it. Let's please not lose money. Yes. We made $106. Very nice. There was probably gold down there. There was, and we got it. Inevitably, news about the gold spread overnight. Several nearby homesteads and settlements were raided, of course. Ask the crime lord for protection. Alright, ask the crime lord for protection. He's over here. I guess we can go to this trade outpost real quick. We got the bartering. I do have some money. Alright, so the shop inventory. He's got some tobacco. Improves aim. I <laughs> guess because it calms you down or something. Well, I like that. Healing herbs. Now that's probably going to be important. Uh, do I. Yeah, okay. Healing herbs. Give me two. I'm trying to be conservative right now. Plus four movement. Pretty expensive. Let me get some tobacco for some aim. Oh, whoops. Oh, two. Okay. Oh, that's all I had? Whatever. Oh, ten gauge double shotty. Cone shots. Just a nice little whatever. Do I have anything right now? I don't think I do. So I'm going to want that. You know it. So go ahead and throw that there shotgun in there. And oh, am I supposed to like trade my gold for cash? Well, let's well, let's do this first. Why can't I trade? Oh, I gotta put my cash in there. Okay, never mind. Uh, that's all I want right now. I should probably get those shoes, too, but... Eh. I wanna look at my... Yeah, what the hell. I'll do that. Alright, cool. Okay, now. Is there a way to get to, like, my... Yeah, my character screen. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, so I do have a I have a six shooter. Free inventory, use it to equip an item. So can I put Yeah yes. Uh I do have two shells for that. Got six for my revolver, appropriately enough. Uh so we need to put it into these slots, I guess, to use in combat. So the shoes, the herbs, and the tobacco. Cool. This person has a larger role to play. Make sure they don't die. Open card screen. Drag cards here to grant this character new abilities and other bonuses. Arrange poker hands for extra rewards. Oh, that's pretty sweet. All right. What do we got? Ten of spades and a king of hearts. Not much we can do with that, but except add it here. That's pretty damn cool. Bonus plus four sight, plus five aim. Nice. I like that. All right. So, actually, we're going to go ahead and cut this first episode right here. Thank you for watching, as always. Please like and subscribe if you dig what you saw, as unlikely as that might be. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back soon with more Hard West. So, thanks for watching.